Look at this grace. Look at this beauty. Perfect. What do you call those twirls? What are those? Pirouettes. Pirouettes. Yeah. <laughs> That's New York City Ballet's Megan Fairchild. In addition to being a principal dancer with the storied company, she is a mother of three, a recent MBA graduate from NYU Stern School of Business. She's serious, man. She's authored a book that helps to encourage all of us to live our best lives. It's called The Ballerina Mindset, How to Protect Your Mental Health While Striving for Excellence. It's out right now. Megan Fairchild joining us this morning. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. Well, you know, seriously, I was, you know, doing my research on you last night, and I'm reading the New York Times. And, you know, they don't, you know, they don't give out a lot of compliments but they were calling you extraordinary. Um, your moves, I mean, congratulations. Thank you. That's actually part of my book, I Don't Read Reviews. So you... it's nice to hear that they're good. <laughs> <laughs> I guess if you, you know, you read the reviews, you might come across one that, yeah. but I didn't come across one for you, Megan. <laughs> anyway, why this book, The Ballerina Mindset? You know, there's a lot of ballerinas that actually write about their stories, and I never thought I would do that, but I was, um, I want to give back because I've learned a lot. So I was doing an advice-based podcast for just really specific young dancers and their moms. And an editor at Penguin um, told me on Instagram she was using it to help her run a marathon. She was like, I think you have a lot of universal advice here. and um, Let's get together and see if we have a book here. So we flushed out 10 life lessons from my career and um, the stories behind them and the, the lessons learned. And, and now here we are. You know, you're right. It is universal. We can all go through it. And I feel like the last two years have been particularly hard for yeah. everybody. I called it the Corona Coast. Yeah. You know, one minute I'm laughing, the next minute I'm crying, you <laughs> yeah, know? Yeah. Um, you, I mean, you are so brave. You came here from Utah right. at 16 years yeah. old. Yeah. I mean, that, that shows an extraordinary, extraordinary amount of bravery at such a young age. Did you always know that, that this is what you wanted to do? I, you know, I've been wanting to do ballet since I was eight, you know, really focused on ballet, and then really at 12, you, you really do it every day, but I never knew I would end up in New York, you know, I, yeah. I was just hoping to be a part of the company at home, and everyone in my company moved out here before they were done with high school to finish their training, and we, we finished high school out here without our parents, so it's just, uh, you have to take real risks to, to go big, and I just kind of, every step of the way, it was like, okay, I made it this far and I'm still having fun let's take it another step so and how are you balancing three kids and <laughs> being a principal ballerina it's pretty crazy I had twins during the pandemic so I never planned on having <laughs> three kids um, but it and as stressful as it seemed it's look just, how cute they are I <laughs> it's just been a pleasure I am having the best time I you know I gotta have the best of both worlds I'm not sitting at home just recovering I'm sitting at home having this really rich family time and then I um, you know, I have like the support and thank God for daycare and babysitters and my wonderful husband. And um, when I have a show, you know, I get home at 10 or 11 at night and the entire house is dark and everyone's asleep. So, you know, it's a balance. Some days are, are a lot of family, some days are a lot of ballet, but um, I, I hope they'd be proud of me, you know, and I want to be the kind of mom that they get to, you know, look back and, and be proud of what I, I did. And I, I don't think they're missing me that much on the, the days I have shows. I think, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing, too. <laughs> anyway, there's some great advice in the book. Um, one of them, I think, that we all kind of feel is anxiety and failure. Mm -hmm. um, what advice do you have for, you know, dealing with that? I, I really had to experience the fake it till you make it thing because I just did not feel like the diva ballerina in these roles I was being put in at such a young age. And so what I eventually learned was when you are new at something, people are making some room for error, you know? And I uh, came out the other side realizing and looking back at the younger people now, like, it's okay if you have a first couple bad shows, you're gaining experience. And then until you've had show after show after show where you've learned to trust yourself and you know that you have some consistency, you know, it just takes time. So giving yourself that grace is something that I learned. So, you know, we obviously we're all dealing with mental health issues these days. What about <laughs> physical health issues? How do we deal with that? You know, it, 
I feel really blessed as a dancer to have my job be to make myself at peak physical condition. And, and that entails also feeling good mentally as well. But um, I have to do all that stuff, like the gyrotonics and the Pilates and swimming or whatever when we're not dancing. And, and I really, like, I, I'm addicted to the feeling of your body being at its top, you know, so. I wish I could get addicted <laughs> to that feeling. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm addicted to the other spectrum. It's all about momentum, <laughs> right? It's, it really it's is. It's about momentum. So do you have to, like, bathe your feet in ice every night? No. You know, some people do, and after really maybe a, a really hard day, I'll yeah. s put my feet in a bucket of ice water. But for the most part, I've figured out, like, exactly what to put in my point shoes and exactly the exercises I need to do. And we have physical therapists and mas masseuses that work with us daily, so... We're, we're well taken care of. <laughs> well, you look great. And the Thank the you. book is fabulous. Great advice for everyone. It's called The Ballerina Mindset. And also go see Megan Fairchild. When are you back on stage? Uh, at the end of April, we start. Fantastic. Lincoln Center. Do you say break a leg to a ballerina? No, you don't. Okay, what you do you say? Th you say married. <laughs> I studied French. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. Anyway. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you. Thank All right. you. <laughs> Meanwhile, the high price of gas is affecting everyone at the pump. This includes food truck owners who say filling up has nearly doubled in the last few weeks, and you're feeling the impacts. We'll talk about it when we come back.